hello everyone. Right, so I have another idea um, using these little dowels that I've made, all different bits of wood. And I've basically, because I've got this new kit that I picked up the other day, which is uh, this, I'm not actually sure, too sure what it's called. Um, but basically you put them in a drill and they cut little dowels out for you. So I saw them and I thought, ah, got an idea with that. So I've got all these little dowels and I've cut all them out. Lots of different bits of wood. And this, I was going to use this, which I picked up from John Davis Wood Turning. That's the, that's the name of the wood. I can't even say that, so I'm going to let you decide what that says. I'm going to stick this on the lathe and um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I've also got this up on the lathe, it's a bit wobbly, but we'll sort that out. Okay, so my idea here is um, fairly simple, but hopefully effective. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a load of random holes using this 12mm uh, drill bit uh, all around the side of this uh, bolt. So this is this is my idea here. You can see that. So I just drilled loads of little holes in there using the 12 mil. I'm gonna use some gorilla glue. I'm gonna just put a dabble of glue inside. That's basically what I've done so far. So I've just basically drilled the holes out and just plugging these up with, and sealing them up with glue at the moment. No idea how this is going to come out just yet. I may need to mess about with it to get it to where we need it to be, but um, that's kind of my idea so far. A little bit weird. I'm not sure if it will pan out to the way I want it to be, but um, we'll see.
Okay, so this is as far as I've got. Um, it's actually really tough, this wood. Um, it's really quite hard on the drill. Uh, it's taken its toll really on the batteries. I'm having to recharge the batteries on the drill every five minutes. Um, so basically I'm just putting all these in here, gluing them up. As you can see, uh, that's kind of the effect that I'm gonna go for and hopefully it will come up really nice. Um, got a few gaps here. I might have to fill those in with a bit of milliput or something but I'm sure we'll get that finished uh, okay. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's making progress. Uh, I'm wondering what it's gonna look like. Hopefully it'll look quite uh, quite good. Okay, so as you can see uh, now, I've basically put um, all of the rest of the dowels in the wood. So uh, now I'm going to uh, just basically um, trim this off. I'm going to use the carbide for this, just very gently. I'm just going to ease my way in. Um, you don't want to be sort of chucking this in there because uh, it will just end up just ripping it to pieces. So I'm just going to be really careful and just basically bring this down um, level. So uh, I'll do that now. Right, okay, so I have um, prepared the um, the bottom now, ready to flip over. Um, so I'm just gonna put some um, sand in sealer on this. Um, just gonna rub it in by hand. Uh, this will be the first coat of sand in sealer. This, uh, I think this wood should come up really quite nice actually. Um, it's quite a nice, nice piece. I'm not sure what the end result will look like, but hopefully it will look all right. Um, pretty pleased of how this is coming out at the moment, so I think that should be uh, kind of how I expected. Although there are a few little gaps in uh, some of the dowels where the dowels have gone in on an angle, uh, which I kind of thought was going to happen actually. Um, not huge gaps but just some small some small gaps there so what I might do in a minute after I've done this is I might put some uh, milli put some black milli put around there but it's not too bad um, I mean there's a little gap there these are okay actually there's a couple of little baby gaps here um, but I think with a black milli put in there it would just give it a little bit of a shadow effect anyway um, so I'm just going to mix a little bit of black milli put up now um, I think you've all seen me do that uh, before um, but basically yeah this is the black milli put um, so I just mix up a tiny bit of this unfortunately we're going to have to leave that to set for a little bit um, I've actually been working on this piece for a little while now um, so it's taken me a little while to get this finished but I'll um, I'll put this on now and uh, we'll come back to you afterwards okay so I've basically put a bit of milli put black milli put into some of the gaps the gaps weren't that big actually but um, this should just create a little bit of a shadow uh, on it, so I'm going to have to wait for that to dry now. 
Um, but um, yeah, it's coming on actually. I'm, I'm hopefully this is going to come out quite quite well. So um, we'll come back to that when it's dried up. Okay, so we're getting closer now to finishing the, the uh, main, or the back end anyway, so I'm just going to put some Yorkshire grit on this now, um, get all this in here so we can get this shined up really well. I think this should shine up pretty well really. get a clean piece of paper towel now uh, and then just keep on wiping this around just cleaning it up a bit really because uh, get all that uh, get all the grit off So there we go, that's uh, done now with the Yorkshire grit. That's not done a pretty good, well it's done a pretty good job as it is. Um, so what I'm going to do now is going to go over it with a bit of light sanding. Um, so we're going to stick on here with about uh, 600 grit now. And I do have a little, I've seen a little hole here, tiny little hole, which is a bit of a pain but There's not really a lot I'm going to do about that now. Right, so now what I'm going to do... See the... Uh, you can see just like a little shadow effect that the... Um, around here where I put the uh, milli puts. Which is alright, you know, it's, done, it's not turned out too badly really. Um, well, let's see if we can put some of this um, bit of wax on here now. Let's give it a good shake. I'm going to get this applied while the lay's running. There we are, so uh, that's not too bad at the moment. It's probably going to need another light rub down and then I'll apply another another coat of the uh, Sheila wax I think, but um, yeah we're getting there, we are getting there. Um, so now I've flipped it over and I'm going to turn, um, basically you're going to get rid of the, uh, the centre um, and um, make the bowl, so we'll finish the bowl. Right, uh, here we go.
Okay, everyone. Um, I've finished the uh, the bowl now. Uh, so there it is. If you can see it, um, can you see that properly there or not? Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm uh, pretty pleased with that actually. Uh, a little bit of a different project um, than uh, than my others, I think. Um, took a lot of work. Uh, there was a lot of um, effort that went into this um, with regards to drilling out all of the holes and then obviously drilling out. Uh, so what I did basically is like got a little block like that uh, and I've taken some uh, pieces out of that. So obviously you do destroy the little blank there but you know what can you do. Um, so I've taken the little dowels out and putting them all in. Yeah, it's quite a, a funky little piece, really. Um, it's a fairly sort of shallow um, kind of bowl, platter. Um, but yeah, I hope you like the uh, the finished product. I've uh, got a few really good projects coming up soon. Um, some uh, kind of really, um, yeah, I've got a strange one coming up, uh, which I've started already, uh, which looks, um, looks kind of cool, actually. Um, so uh, that should be coming on next week sometime. Um, I say congratulations earlier on to the winner of the second um, pot. I think it was Emily. I can't can't remember now. Sorry. I think it was Emily. Uh, so congratulations to you. Uh, we get that off to you once you've sent me the details. And I'll do another um, giveaway soon uh, for everybody else. So we'll, we'll have a few more before the run up to Christmas. Um, don't forget, guys, check out my other um, channel down below um, Nikolai Scott just a few uh, bits and pieces going on there I did a trip to Leeds a little while ago and we went to see the tallest um, structure in the UK so it's quite interesting actually even if you don't kind of subscribe over there have a little look at some of the videos uh, there is some interesting stuff and some funny stuff over there so um, have a look and we've got some giveaways going on over there soon as well um, not wooden things so lots of different bits and pieces going on over there so coming up in the next sort of few weeks so yeah um have a check that out for me if you if you like um thanks again for everyone subscribed all your comments likes and shares and everything it's all really appreciated so hope you like this piece i'll put some stills up at the end as always um until the next time thanks see you again soon